Jews have been in Iran for nearly 3,000 years. In the 1970s, only 10% of Iranian Jews were classified as impoverished, 80% were middle class, and 10% wealthy. Although Jews accounted for only a small percentage of Iran's population, in 1979, two of the 18 members of the Iranian Academy of Sciences, 80 of the 4,000 university lecturers, and 600 of the 10,000 physicians in Iran were Jews. During the Iranian Revolution, many Iranian Jews joined the revolutionaries in order to defend their country, Iran. At the present, however, population of the Jews in Iran is about 15,000, of which about 8,000 reside in Tehran, and the rest live in other cities of Iran. By the establishment of the national legislature in the constitutional period, religious minorities in Iran obtained representation in the parliament, and since then Jews have always had representatives in the parliament. Political, social, and religious activities of the Jewish society revolve around Jewish religious authorities, Jews representative in Islamic Consultative Assembly, and Tehran Jewish community. Mr. Yoram Harunyan is the internal manager of the Jewish community in Tehran. He has been rendering service to the Jewish people for years. He further manages a famous synagogue in the central Tehran. کلیه در واقع کارهایی که مربوط به جامعه کلمیان تهران و حتی ایران در واقع در کشور انجام میشه زیر نظر, زیر نظر مستقیم انجامن کلمیان تهران هست داره یه مدیره هستش به تعداد دوازده نفر کمیته های مختلفی داره کمیته جوانان، کمیته ورزش At the moment, the Jewish community has about 100 synagogues in Iran, about 31 of which are in Tehran. There are special schools, cultural complexes, youth, students and women centers, central libraries, music training centers, gathering halls, computer training centers and butcheries according to Jewish religion in different regions and cities of Iran. There are monthly and weekly magazines publishing Jewish cultural works as well. Dr. Sapir Hospital is the largest charity of religious minorities in Iran. This large charity center, which has been helping all the poor and the needy citizens from the first days of its establishment, has obtained a high reputation during the last 50 years. Dr. Siamak Morissette is the manager of Dr. Sapir Hospital in the southern Tehran, that provides services to all Persian citizens. The cost of maintaining this hospital is primarily provided by the Jewish charities. In Iran, it's completely obvious that the uh, principal strategy of the country would not change by the change of government. There would be some uh, difference in dialogues and in the way of speech, but our principal strategy does not change. And our principal strategy that we are a nation who want to be independent, who want to have complete liberty, and we do not want to obey the other country's orders, of course. And I think that there would not be a specific change in Iran behavior after election, because our principal strategy is usually and mainly directed by supreme leader and by national security group and they will not change with election. In the USA, I think uh, everyone who may be elected must obey the agreement and must obey the law because it is not only an agreement between Iran and USA. It's an agreement between Iran, five plus one, which was forced by UN. And if the next presidents of USA want to do 
in a manner that does not obey the agreement of course the European country would not follow it and there would be a problem inside five plus one against the national interest of the European and USA of course USA does not want to do their best for this because they uh, want to destroy the relationship between Iran and European country but because this agreement was a uh, one unique agreement between Iran and all of the country of five plus one, which was forced again with UN. I don't think that the presidential election USA can change mainly the future of this agreement. کنیسای ابریشمی در واقع در مرکز شهر تهران هست و میشه گفت بزرگترین و پرجمعیتترین کنیسای تهران و در واقع ایران هست هر روز خدا رو شکر اینجا چندین سری نماز خونده میشه هم در صبح هم بعد از ظهرها کلا ما یهودیان سه وعده نماز داریم در واقع یکی نماز صبح هست Religious teaching for the Jews is taught formally up to the end of high school, according to books approved by the Education Ministry. In addition, groups of youth usually organize religious gatherings, group meetings and religious speeches in the synagogues in Tehran and other cities throughout the country. Moreover, Jewish people have access to lots of kosher restaurants in Tehran where they normally eat. Now the relations of the Jewish authorities and high-ranking officials of Iran are at a very desirable level, and there is a high rate of assimilation between the Persian Muslims and the Persian Jews. Jews have got a long history of civilization in Iran. And I am now at one of the most well-known synagogues in Tehran where hundreds of Persian Jews come to pray and hold their religious ceremonies every day, as well as their group meetings and gatherings. Nasser Salari, Mejanad Rebuzrania, Tehran, Iran. <laughs>